Alright you guys, so welcome to Dying Light. My name is Faston456. And uh, this is our latest uh, game to uh, the series. Um, thank you guys for all your amazing support. You guys are awesome. And if you are enjoying the channel or if you're new to the channel and you're watching this video for the first time, uh, hit that like button and maybe subscribe. Um, you can see uh, I only did 2% of the story mode. So yeah, I haven't really uh, done that much. I'm gonna do a new game though, so that you guys at least get a feel to the game. So yourselves like have a good. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject: Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, ten seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back!
pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie, run! <sighs> so this is how you start off the game? Scaring little kids? Some way. Alright, well, now we got the PS4 being a bit loudmouth. Generating that damn heat. Alright, let's look around the place. You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children? Off to a great start, Toby. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Thirty-one. Too dangerous. Amir died because of this guy? Quiet! Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti scene. Hey, I'm looking for the. Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got a problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your Anderson was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the Anderson meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Here. Where were you? We've been 
waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I... I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP. Help! Had you. Help! Somebody! What the hell? I cut my arm, getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. <laughs> Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Give this a shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, Rahim, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Cut, guys, in that, uh, commentary. Don't worry, this video will probably be, like, maybe a good half hour so that you get, like, a nice big intro to the game. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Oh, damn. So, yeah, remember what I told you when I wanted to get an experience to the game? Well, here you go. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Okay, wait, hold up. I gotta work on these options real quick. Uh, controls. Vibration. Auto aim. Dead zone. Hmm. Game. Wireless control speaker. Alright. This should work then. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Alright, I think I got it. You want to feel right at home? A crane? On a crane! He's... I can't believe... Wait, I have a smart idea. I'm actually being smart about this now. Watch. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is how you climb cranes, guys. This is how you climb a crane. Do 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 Oh yeah, made it. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say. All right. Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Don't be Come a wimp. On, you can't be serious. Watch this. I'm just letting you know right now. This is as far as I got into the door. Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Once I got here, I'm like, okay, you know what? I ain't doing it. I ain't taking that risk of jumping. You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. This is... This is just suicide. Who... Question, what type of parkour does this? Who... What... 
Name somebody who does parkour and who will do something as nuts as this. <sighs> okay. As they say, one small step for man. Hey, okay, wait. I gotta repeat that. One small step for man. And now one large step for mankind. Holy oh, shit! Holy shit! Ouch! It's a rush, isn't it? Heck, I bet I would have. But heck, don't blow your load. Just I think yet. I would have broken a leg if I There's fell down more. there. To survive outside, what about you guys? You got to take advantage of the terrain. If this was real life, terrain. you think you break Most a leg? Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Hey, wait up! Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Oh. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Wah! Oh shoot, I went a little too fast on that jump. Okay, here we go. Hoorah! Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Hoorah! Not bad for a noob. Okay, I'm doing good. Hoorah! Oh, come on, jump! Jump! Find the thing, damn it. All right, get up on that scaffold and don't fall. Cause yep. there's sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't okay. do that. This is insane. All right. Hoorah! Nailed it. Alright, this is an easy one. Hooah! Good job! Alright. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while really, you I gotta run. Really, I got jump on... Okay, there we go. Look at this, this is amazing. Alright. Hooah! Here we go. Nailed it. First try. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Oh, I Never seen anything like it. Oh. The crane's right here. Okay. Right, here we go. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Whoa. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, Crane. We're almost there. Whoa. Keep going downstairs, okay. Oh, he's right here. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. 
You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of Antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Alrighty then. We're probably gonna go to the Quartermaster and then we're gonna call it a video. Oh, whoops. Alright, I am going the wrong way. Oh, look how fast you can run in this game. Alright, they've given me an actual j So far so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs>